Hi, I'm Adush Karinak from Quantum Detectors. I'm an application engineer for electron microscopy. In this video, I would like to show you our STEM interface for Maryland EM detector. We have implemented live virtual analysis for 4D STEM data acquisition, which allows our users to get quick, quick feedback of their experiments while collecting the data on the microscope. Our software can generate bright field images with a disk detector, annular bright field and dark field images with annular detector. Additionally, uh, live differential phase contrast imaging is also supported in a disk and annular geometry, which can be used to image electromagnetic fields uh, in, the, in the sample. Um, firstly, I would like to show you an example of our DPC live imaging uh, from a polycrystalline magnetic material. And after that, uh, I'll explain to you additional features of our software. Here we can see the live analysis of 256 by 256 pixel scan, in this case with just under one millisecond dwell time. On the left side, you can see the live view of the diffraction space with the detector geometry overlaid. The bottom of the image shows the histogram of electron counts. In this experiment, uh, in this experiment, we are getting uh, about 130 electrons in the brightest pixels in each frame and the signal goes all the way down to zero towards the edge of the frame. The maximum count number per frame is just about 4000 in 12-bit imaging mode, but uh, we will revisit this a little bit later in the video. Uh, we can also see that the magnetic signal is just about appearing in the center of the live view. This is because the local magnetic induction deflects the beam and uh, DPC detection registers the signal. In this case, the detector is used in annular geometry, which means that we can filter away high spatial information and maximize the signal due to the electromagnetic field. The histogram bar below uh, both of the windows allows to select a specific uh, contrast at the moment when it's imaged. Double-clicking on the histogram will reset the contrast to minimum and maximum values present in the data. So far, we have only looked at a single DPC component, uh, but the view can be changed uh, to the second orthogonal component on the top of the window options. Once the data acquisition is finished, we can view different propositions by clicking in the reconstruction window. The diffraction pattern corresponding to the particular pixel we've clicked on will be displayed on the left side. One of the most important abilities of 4D STEM and virtual detection is that the full information about the experiment can be collected. There is no need to expose the sample again unless the experimental parameters or microscope alignment needs adjusting. Because of this, we have introduced a replay buffer, which can be used to reanalyze the data. We can change the radius of the virtual detectors or their type and then press replay buffer. The new image will be generated in the right stem view. Uh, because the data was already collected, this process should be fast. In this case, the annular detector overlaps with the bright field disk and we mostly see grain contrast from the crystalline sample. We will now come back to DPC detector and show an example of different annular detector size. Firstly, we include a lot of signal from the bright field area and the magnetic induction uh, result is therefore rather noisy. By making the internal radius just overlapping with the outer edge of the central beam, we can maximize the DPC signal to noise. There are also other, more advanced methods to generate even better contrast, but they are computationally expensive and harder to implement for live imaging. As I mentioned before, we can select a particular range in the histogram to maximize the local contrast. By focusing on the small counts in the diffraction view, we can, sh we can show single electron counts towards the edge of the pattern. Again, double-clicking on the histogram resets the view. 
The hardware counting of Maryland EM detector allows a full dynamic range within a single frame without additional noise in the lower intensity part of the frame. The highest number of counts in the frame is chosen by given counting mode. One bit mode, the fastest one, only detects zero or one electrons. The chip can collect about 20,000 frames a second at this speed. For 6-bit mode, maximum is 63 counts per pixel, 12-bit mode will give you 4,000 counts, and 24-bit mode is about 16 million counts in a single pixel. 24-bit mode will be mostly useful in TEM diffraction, uh, mainly because it's a lot slower. For each of these modes, we can also choose to read out a smaller, pair, a smaller part of the chip, uh, a region of interest, which results in even higher frame rates. Now I will demonstrate the annular dark field imaging and the bright field imaging. As it is shown, we can easily expand the virtual detector geometry by dragging the edge of the detector. Again, by pressing the replay buffer, a new reconstruction is calculated. If a bright field detector is required, we can go to the detector menu on a left panel and change the inner radius to zero. There are two available detector configurations, which can also be used simultaneously. In the final part of my demonstration, I'll show you a special region of interest mode with which we can read a smaller part of the detector and maximize the readout speed. By reading out half of the chip, we can double the speed of acquisition, which can be advantageous in STEM imaging. Larger overviews of the sample can be made quicker. This mode is especially suited to EELS imaging and we are working to, uh, on exploring the maximum performance of our chip technology. In the example in my video, we have used 64 pixel region of interest, which is a quarter of the chip, and collected 100 microsecond dwell time for the STEM DPC data. As you can see in the video, the data is not distorted in one of the dimensions, but it's spatially consistent. As my final note, I would like to mention that we are continuously improving abilities of our software and the improvements are available to our customers. In the newest version of our software, we introduced a search mode with which a continuous scan can be performed and beam alignment is easy to do even with a 4D STEM acquisition. This becomes practical due to the speed improvements available through the region of interest mode. I hope that this demonstration was useful and you have learned more about the Maryland software and Maryland EM detector. Thank you for your attention.